Good morning, this is the Rico with Marky here, and today I'm going to show you how to beat Skullus into the ground. <laughs> yes, this monster that everybody seems to be having a lot of issues with, me myself included. I did have some issues in the beginning, but once you figure it out, he's actually quite easy to kill. Do your thing. He, um... He's not that hard. Um, it's just all about figuring out where to go, where to, what to do, how to do it, you know, a bunch of other stuff. Um, <coughs> okay, so, first what you're going to need, what you're going to need weapon-wise, what you're going to need people-wise. Um, you don't have to be the best. Um, I've done this with some people that don't play every single day of their lives, that don't play for several hours. Um, <coughs> And this a character myself I'm using is not a new character, um, or it is a relatively new character. Uh, so I don't have access to a lot of the weapons that my other accounts do, because this is my Naruko, who's a monkey account. Um, this is actually the first time I've played it since um, yeah, week, now we just gotta well, since the very first day of House of Wolves. I played it for like a few minutes just to pick up bounties and stuff, that was it. That being said, I believe anybody with enough persistence and patience can get through this. Um, first thing is, you're going to need somebody that's going to have to go out their minds. Uh, hunters are excellent at this, especially well, blade dancing hunters, people that, the hunters that can go invisible. Or, you know, regular hunters if they have, or gunslingers if they have kept sting. <coughs> okay. Second, you're going to need a second person for the mines. Um, titans work well. Uh, especially with bubbles. Um, most importantly though, you want to make sure that everybody has supers when you're doing so. I'll get to that later. Um, weapons. You don't need a lot. Uh, have a hand cannon to pick off ads from afar. Um, and since the room you're going to be hanging in is on the right hand side, by the way, um, of the map, this little pill shaped room, um, it's very close quarters. So shotguns, in my opinion, are a necessity. You have to have them. Um, I suggest having ones that are arc damage, uh, since uh, the enemies you're facing all have arc shields. Um, you have two doors that spawn in there, uh, and the only things that really spawn out of those doors is the occasional red barred captain. And uh, you can easily take a shield out, three shots from a 365 fate bringer will do it, but in my opinion it's easier just to go pop pop with a shotgun instead. You know, rather than pop, 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 whip out a shotgun, pop, pop, right. you know, now, the next thing we have to it's all a matter of play style. So, um, so basically you want to stay in this room, uh, this, unlike somebody before, somebody previous them. weeks on Skullus, this week, and continuing right. onward, uh, the enemies spawn right. in right. waves, right. they spawn in increments right. based off of so Skullus' right. health. Right. Generally, right. do not, right. when you're attacking right. ads and trying to clear them out to the point where they'll stop, do not attack Skullus, so because right. after a certain point they will spawn again. Um, so it's very easy, you want to come to this side and you want to kind of get into a rotation. Um, kill the ads, pass off the curse. Now, a curse, um, for those of you who do not know, who do not understand the mechanics of the curse yet, um, whoever is poisoned, uh, who has the, um, consuming essence, will die after 30 seconds. You have a timer. So, to prevent this, somebody has to take it from you. Kind of like the chalice. Um, is that you could just, yeah, pass him, it gave me the option to absorb the essence. Um, but you don't want to absorb it right away, because if you just take it and you take it, pass it off, when I take it... I'll demonstrate that in a few seconds. So now I have the essence. The best thing to do is to keep it, always keep an eye on your essence. Um, keep it in your head how much time you have. Once you get to 10 seconds, start counting down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. This gives your allies a chance to say, hey, okay, they're about to die. <coughs> I, they need me to take the essence. But now, as you can see, once they take it, they have the essence, they will die after 30 seconds, but the problem comes with me being immune. I'm immune for 40 seconds, so that being said, I cannot take the essence from uh, my friend Cash here, because since he just took it from me. Kind of like a tag, no takesy backsies. <laughs> no takesy backsies. Um, so now writing has taken from him. So this rotation could be really screwed up if writing was to suddenly die. Then Cash would die. Now all of a sudden, I'm the only one standing simply because one person died, you know, easily becomes two. It depends on the rotation of people dying. Um, 
So you want to try to be careful as much as possible. The only thing you need to worry about in this room, generally, is splash damage. Other than that, you're fine. If Skull is set, he turns to shoot into one of these doors, if you see, find yourself being see, starting to get a little bit of damage or crude, move. Don't just stand still. Move to the other side of the room. That's the best thing to do. Um, some people like to play devil's advocate, as you can see, Cash, you know, he sits in the middle of the room behind that wall, that's fine, I guess. I feel uncomfortable there, I feel like I'm exposed, because I can get splash damage from either side of the room. Um, but, there you go. Um, <clears throat> you want to time everything. Everything about this thing is timing too, just like, uh, Crota was. Timing, timing, timing. Uh, you want to pass it off right, you want to make sure the right person has it when the mines go off, so you don't want to attack Skullus all the time. Poking and prodding at him with your primary, it's okay. But uh, you want to have something that can cause a lot of damage all at once. Rockets, oh, heavy, right? best thing. Um, Gallahorn is excellent. Great weapon to have for this fight. It's not a necessity though. I know in previous weeks, the first week and the fourth week, Gallahorn was like a must. It's like if you didn't have Gallahorn, or black hammer, right, nobody so would raid with you. Uh, That's cool. That's fine. So you know, but you don't need it. Um, I cannot stress this enough. You do not need it. There are actually, I have a with my friend Cash here. He was rocking a 365 hunger of quota. Slice of ice is fine. Tomorrow's answer: the fear, the cure. You, if you get the right roll, they'll do just as fine. You could easily roll a, uh, a fear or the cure. Or, you know, tomorrow's answer, you could, or not tomorrow's answer, rather, tomorrow's answer is a nice rocket itself. Um, you can roll these to be just like a hunger of quota, you know, cluster bombs tracking, or cluster bombs in proximity. Uh, make it your own, you know, as long as you can cause some hurt all at once. The idea is to make sure that, as you can see now, I have the essence, because I am about to go and get the mines. Um... We don't want to break, we don't, we don't want to start the mines. You want to make sure the person going for the mines, i.e. me, the hunter, um, has the curse at the time when you want to start attacking so Skullus. Because you I want the trigger, you want the mines to be now. triggered when time, the person going has the curse. That way, the person can take it from them, and that person is fresh from rotation, they're safe from rotation for another good 40 seconds. There's plenty of time to go and get the mines. Now the hunter should always be responsible for catching the middle and the furthest out ring. Don't bother catching the one above you. Uh, that should be the responsibility of one of the other two people. I.e., it's great to have a Titan. Some singers will su suffice if they have a Radiance. If they don't have a Radiance, I mean, as a last resort, yeah. But, no. Generally, you want to make sure everybody's got their super ready to go when you're ready to do it. Um, and the cool thing is, you know, you just want to control when you attack Skullus. It's all about control. Um, don't just attack them willy-nilly. You know, make sure there's ads gone, make sure you know you have a clear shot, and make sure everybody's got their super. Um, and that's what we were doing. You know, we'd sit in this room, this is why this is a lengthy battle. It took us about 10 to 15 minutes, but that's better than wiping 100 times. Now, granted, this method isn't fool foolproof. It's not 100% guaranteed. Um, we did wipe once or twice uh, before this. Um, Takes it from me? Takes it from me? Sometimes Take people aren't away fit. You know, it happens. Uh, but for me generally, you know, about 30 seconds, I can pop a cent. pretty efficient, you know, you're safe for most things, what minus uh, uh, splash like damage, and you know, there you go. There's many more ways to do it. I know some people like to rotate around the map and stuff, and that's fine. I will leave this room occasionally if, you know, everybody's dead, I'm the last one alive, and there's a lot of heat coming in. I'll go invisible, run around, or whatever. Um, I didn't show you what happened in the beginning here, uh, but I will explain it uh, really quickly. Um, what happened? I know we start this strategy. We go out, go to the left, start it like you always do. Pop a bubble in front of the door, fire as many rockets as you can at Skullus while his bombs are broken, and just get him weakened. Um, at that point, once you run out of rockets, instead of popping a synth and reloading and going again, don't pop a synth. Move. Rotate to this room. Get to this room. Kill all the ads. Kill as many ads as you can. Once that's done, have somebody go out. Best be a hunter. Uh, have somebody go out and go to find the ghost servitor. Kill the ghost servitor. Hurt Skellis. Rinse and repeat until his bonds are broken. Once his bonds are broken, oh, go to this room this and then start this process that I've been explaining from the beginning of this, you know, video. You you know, just ranting on. <laughs> um, 
here you can see, uh, I'm starting, you want to go invisible, you never want to leave that room visible. You want to stay invisible as long as possible. Um, if there was an enemy along by, I probably should have, uh, blink striked him, but I still have my blink strike, so that's a useful tool to have. Um, and as you can see, you want to have a super on, and it's best as a hunter, a bait dancer, have vanish on. It's a lifesaver, because it extends your invisibility and lets you go around the map pretty much. Make sure you guys get that. Invisible. Make sure you guys get that one. <laughs> I was stupid that I had shot for no reason. I probably slipped on the controller, but you know, there you go. And you know, you have them uh, get it, but you know, sometimes things happen. So always be on your toes, always be ready to come and save the day. Here, honestly, I don't know how I pulled this off. <laughs> I just was just like, okay, this has to be good time. I'm tired of it at this point. This was a very long process to get to this point. Um, I did not feel like wiping. See, okay, at this point, we've gotten both my set of minds, uh, it's simply sit back, take care of ads, and then kill Skullis. The ads will stop spawning. So at this point, we're just gonna pass off the curse, give everybody up, and pass and kill the ads. Once the ads are done, just unleash everything you have in Skullis, and you should be able to kill him at this point. Because once the second set of minds comes out, his health is low. He's already at 25%, so you don't got much left. Um, make sure you come into this fight with no less than 20 synth. Uh, that being, uh, you know, you don't know how many times you're going to wipe, so you don't know how much synth you need, and it's kind of lame for someone to have to leave mid-game to get more synth. Um, I usually keep at least 20 on me when I do this. Uh, on a given run, like successful run, you may use 5, 4, something like that, depending on how many other rockets there are. Uh, that's pretty much it. Yeah, um, the only other things I can say is just stay on your toes. <coughs> have a good shotgun. Have a nice heavy. I would not. Su I would not suggest uh, LMG. They're good for persistent damage, but not all at once damage. Same goes with sniper rifles. Um, they're good. But they're not what you need. They're not as powerful as you can, especially because he moves around a lot. He teleports a lot. You're not guaranteed to get crits, and that's what you want power. And snipers only gain most of their power through crits, so. All three of us. <coughs> At the same time, like, we killed Skullis, but Skullis killed us too. If you're not invisible like I am, try to stay in the room. You really don't want people to go out there, get killed, and then you have to go get them. Which is a risk to everybody. And when you're that close, don't stand together. Please don't stand all together. You don't need to hold your buddy's hand while you're firing at Skullis. Uh, I found that out the hard way. I had another run I uploaded the other day where we yeah. killed Skullis. Um, but he killed us too, with one shot. One shot killed all three of us because we were grouped too close together. Um, it happens. It sucked. It really sucked. At that point, though, we were just, you know, laughed. We laughed about it, so... You know, stuff like that happens, just, you know, dust it off and try again. That's the best, the easiest thing. You want to stay calm. You want to have be persistent. Because this fight nice. can take a while, but, you know, it's very fruitful and it's very fulfilling when you finally do do it. Um, I hope I've been informational to you. I hope you found this yeah, video, you know, useful to you. Um, <laughs> I guess that's it. I hope you guys have a good uh, ev the rest of your day. Um, thanks for watching. This is Naruko Uzumaki, and I am...